Hi, my name is Michaela. I'm a foundation student at Swansea University, and today I'm going to be answering some questions about computer science at Swansea. So when I was choosing universities in year 13, I went to about six different universities, but Swansea was the only university that I came to and I really, really loved. I decided to look at Bay Campus at Swansea Uni because that is where computer science is now based. One of my favourite things about Bay Campus is obviously the beach. The beach is directly attached to Bay Campus, so it's literally a two minute walk from the library. It's amazing. Another reason why I love Swansea was because the campus is so new and modern and there's so much to do on campus. There's two restaurants, there's a shop, there's a bank, there's sports facilities, there's a gym is so much stuff that you find that you don't need to go elsewhere because it's all there and obviously the teaching at Swansea was what really caught my eye it was one of the only universities I went to where I felt like they had exactly what I wanted to learn So in foundation year and first year, everybody takes eight modules over the course of the year and that's four in semester one and four in semester two. All of my modules have been so different and unique that it's really hard to pick a favourite or compare because they are all just so different. If I had to choose, I would say my favourite would be CSC079, Fundamentals of Robotics. In the module we use the EV3 LEGO Mindstorms robots and we use them to program a series of tasks. In the first half of the module we use the EV3 environment and then the second half of the module we use Robot C. Personally I preferred Robot C just because it's a procedural programming language like Python and Java so it's more what I'm used to but some people preferred EV3. One of the tasks we programmed our robots to complete was to autonomously self park. The robot would use an ultrasonic sensor to detect when there was a gap and if it detected that the gap was big enough it would then start a function that would autonomously make it park. So for semester two, I have 13 contact hours a week and they are made up of a mixture of lectures and labs. It doesn't feel overpowering to the point where you're always in uni, but it doesn't feel like you don't have enough guidance. It feels a good mixture in between. But if you do need to get in touch with the lecturer outside of your contact hours, every lecturer has two hours a week where they are in their office. These are called office hours. This basically means if you have any issues within your module, with exams or coursework, you have these two hours a week where you can go up and see a lecturer. You don't have to make an appointment, you can just show up. My three favourite things about Swansea are the beach, the nightlife and the people. Because it's such a new campus, all the facilities are state of the art, including the Computational Foundry, which houses the departments of Computer Science and Maths. The Computational Foundry is where computer science students like me will spend most of our time. There are lecture halls on the ground floor, and then up on the second floor there are labs, so there's Windows Labs and Linux Labs, and there's specialist teaching labs. We also have facilities available to us at the library. The library has printing facilities as well as silent study zones. There is also a range of books for all subjects that are covered on Bay. The final most common place that I find my resources is online. So currently at Swansea, we use Blackboard online, but in September we are switching to Canvas. Seven out of eight in my modules have taken place on Blackboard, but the final one took place on Canvas. Lecturers usually put their notes and lecture slides online with resources to help you, so if you miss something in a lecture you don't have to worry, you can look back later and copy that into your notes. Some lecturers also record their lectures and upload them to Blackboard or Canvas, so if you do end up missing a lecture due to illness or an appointment or anything, you can watch it back and you won't miss out. So that was five questions about computer science at Swansea.